Hi, I'm with uh, Leonard Nimoy, uh, Mr. Spock. Pl Hello. Pleasure to meet you. Great. I gather you've been playing the game behind there. What do you make of it? I, have, I think it's great. It's obviously about 50% developed right now, and, and there's some polishing to be done. But it's very exciting. It's very challenging. It, it uh, captures the imagination very quickly. The idea works. I think it's great. Don't screw again. up my games. <laughs> All right, there you go. Go up to action. I'm a friend of Sarah Connor. I was told she's here. Can I see her, please? Where is she? I'll be back. Now, what, what's the original Star Trek was it was all about these great futuristic gadgets, many of which kind of came in came into being. I mean, do you recall the first time you saw a video game when they first came onto the scene and exploded? I'll tell you, the first thing that I saw come out in a public use that that was immediately referencing Star Trek was the the first cell phone, which I, I think was called the Star Tech, and uh, and it was designed to be a, a flip open phone like the, the kind we use on Star Trek. Since then, we've seen an awful lot of equipment come come into play that's very much like what we had on Star Trek, and in some cases even better. And uh, gaming consoles, video games, are they part of your life, your family, this do your kids is, play them? Is, this is as good as it gets. Your star is, is now as good as it gets. And you, you, I understand now you're, you're ready to sort of relinquish Spock and hand it over to Zach Quinto now. It's been done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not ready to do it, it's yeah. been done, yeah. And did you think he did a good job? He's great, he's, great. he's a very talented, very well-trained actor, he knows how to do the job. And did you enjoy your role in the film? Oh yeah, I, I loved the film and I, I loved working on it. It was great fun, yeah. And so what's next for you then? What's left? What, what, what do you want to achieve I still? I don't have to do anything. I'm, <laughs> am I forced to make a choice here? Not at all. You can just sort of wander around trade shows, playing video games, shooting the breeze. Sounds like quite good fun to me. I have a very interesting life. I'm not going to do any more acting or directing. Uh, I'm, I'm concentrating on my photography. I have a very interesting personal life, and, and, and that's what's working for me now. What's the thing? You do a lot uh, in, in the arts and, and different types of uh, uh, media. Do you think, I mean, Roger Ebert, the, the film critic, actually wrote a very long, a very thoughtful piece claiming that video games could never be considered art. Do you think they can be art? Why not? I think he's wrong. Get him on the phone. Well, give him a call. I'm sure you've got his number on speed, Al. You're wrong. Thank you. Okay. And does the, does the Vulcan nerve pinch still work? Yes. Can you try it on me? Look out, look out, <laughs> look out. Right, I'm with Steve Stops to talk uh, more about You Star 2. We've seen uh, Mr. Nimoy, the legend, the man, the legend, trying it out. He seems to be having good fun. So is it, is it exciting to have him in the, in the booth? It's really exciting, yeah, it's fantastic. And uh, so tell me about the game. Okay, um, the, the game, we're trying to make a, an incredible new experience where people get to engage with Hollywood content from the comfort of their own homes without green screen, without any interruption. You literally walk in and you get to perform. Right? And, and we're really excited about it because it's almost bringing people's dreams to life. You know, growing up, we all dream of being Hollywood stars and appearing in the movies, and now you get the opportunity to actually do that. Because some people have, have tried to dabble with this before. For instance, I think that springs to mind for me on Xbox is you're in the movies, but yeah, the, t the technology just didn't quite work and it left people quite uh, uh, dissatisfied by the end of it. What, what are you doing technically that makes this work? Okay, well, the key thing is um, for the Kinect experience, we're using the Kinect camera, and the Kinect camera gives us uh, a depth image, so um, we can immediately subtract the background. We've had to do some additional work to make the image really nice. Um, but that, that gives us a big head start. Actually, for the, uh, the Sony um, PS3 and, uh, and the Move, we've, had a, a slightly, um, we've got more of a challenge because it doesn't give us the depth information. But what we've done is, is we've done a, a massive amount of work and research since we've been working on it, and we've created uh, our own proprietary way of subtracting the background that works really consistently and works really nicely. I think the other big difference for us is the access to the content that we've got. Um, you're in the movies work was a, a different experience. We're, we're talking about something where you are actually starring with Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, and if you look at the content that's being approved all the time, we've got everything from Casablanca to 300, Team America, um, The Matrix, you know, this is amazing content we're talking about. I saw Caddyshack out there on the screen as well. Yeah, absolutely, Caddyshack of course, um, you know, and it's, there are some classics, so, um, and Blues Brothers of course is one of my, my personal favourites. Um, uh, but there's a couple of big things. You know, the first one is we'll be shipping the game with 60 scenes in the box, and that'll include a mix of at the heart of the experience, the Hollywood content, because that's what people love. We also know that people want to do their own creative things with, with the game. So we'll give them some stock background. So if they want to stand in front of the Taj Mahal or on a, a nice beach, and they want to do a blog post, for example, we're giving people the power to do that from the console. And even more than that, we've now started introducing Hollywood background. So if I want to do my own creative thing on the bridge of the Starship Enterprise, we've got access to that, and we can, we can deliver those kind of experiences to people.
people as well. And when people have created the content, can they share it around? What can they do with it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and we're really pushing the boundaries of what people can do socially within the console. So every performance that I create, I can upload it. And as I upload it, I can make it private so only I can see it. I can share it with just my friends or I can share it with everyone in the world. And that includes being able to post it to Facebook and Twitter. So as it goes to upload, I can say, yeah, I want to notify Facebook. And all of a sudden, it'll appear saying, oh, Steve's just done an amazing new performance of Terminator. Here's a link to it. I can click it and it'll take me straight through to the site so it can be viewed. Can I see her, please? Can't see her. She's making a statement. Where is she? I'll be back. And uh, in, in summary, you star, when's it coming? What's it coming out on? Oh, that's a great question, and actually one that I can't answer. Um, it's coming out on PS3 and, 3, uh, and 360 um, using um, Move and standard controller support um, for, for the PS3 and for the 360, of course, Kinect. Um, but when it's coming out, actually, we're waiting for Microsoft on that one announcement. This year? Um, hopefully this year, yeah. Absolutely. Great stuff. Thank you very much. No Cheers.